Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birds here. Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be jumping into Ruby Volume 7 with Chapter 9. This, of course, is going to be my reaction to it. But before that, I just want to say I hope you guys all had a very safe and relaxing holiday break. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you. Welcome to 2020. I hope you guys have a lot of goals set in mind, being the best version of yourself that you can be, you know, starting this year clean, fresh slate, uh, a chance to do bigger and better things than previous years, myself included. Uh, 2019 was a great year overall for me. Uh, uh, as a content creator for the channel for the support that you guys have shown and given me there were some highs and lows overall we ended the year i think in the best way possible with amassing a hundred thousand subscribers on christmas no doubt which was the best thing that the community could have given to me and i'm incredibly grateful for that uh but 2020 i'm so excited for 2020 man um just for kind of branching out and doing other things besides rooster teeth based content obviously we're going to be finishing ruby volume 7 over the next couple of weeks i'm eventually going to get into the chorus trilogy for red versus blue um, a lot of new video games are coming out in the next couple of months as well as the end of the year for the new consoles the ps5 the xbox series x and um, ultimately fingers crossed i want to be able to get back to my roots of doing anime content so anime reactions anime discussions and things like that so uh, a lot of things that are going to be working in uh, over the next couple of weeks my 100k subscriber special video i'm soon to be getting the silver play button uh, reward from youtube for reaching 100,000 subscribers um, I'm also going to be putting together a little 2019 year in review that's probably uploaded by the time this is being posted a week after I'm recording it of just the accomplishments and the things that we kind of uh, accomplished and, and reached together on the channel um, because it has been you know this year is going to be my seventh year on YouTube you know and it's it's a big milestone for me it's been a long journey you know reaching starting from zero amassing over a hundred thousand and kind of branching out at this point for new content but ultimately uh, I hope you guys had a happy holidays uh, a happy new year I hope you guys are excited for uh, Ruby as well because we're getting into chapter 9 so this is uh, the return to form for the volume we have five chapters uh, including this one we have five chapters left I believe the volume will be concluding on February 1st for first members which is also the anniversary the fifth year anniversary of Montium's passing so you know we're just gonna be rounding this out as, as best we can but going into this chapter based on the last chapter first off the last chapter was great overall we got Mamishni's introduction really upset that we missed out on klein i hope that we at least get to see him by the end of the atlas arc uh just because he was such a treat he was such a delight to see um you know in volume four and you know it's just been so long since we've seen him so we got that we got a bit of whitley we got the the political back and forth between uh jacques and the council versus ironwood and all the things that he's keeping close to the chest and and trying to do to ensure the safety of everyone with the amity project uh, and Watts' identity is basically... So first off, Weiss is best girl. Let's just get that out. I mean, that, that's no that's no surprise to anyone, I hope, at this point. But Weiss, ultimately best girl. She's been asking all the right questions, deducing a lot of information, and coming to the fact of realizing... Also, shout out to Mama Shani for helping to... Basically, I think at this point, we're going to find out, or rather, Watts' identity is going to be uh, exposed at this point. So hopefully, we're going to be figuring out things of that nature. The end of the chapter was really really like ominous because watts essentially is in partnership with the heating grid system which is in partnership with the shini dust company and the heating is is vital to mantle's survival you know it's like weiss said a, a few chapters back oh, it's freezing out here Without heating or a projected aura, the cold of Solitas can kill you in a matter of hours. And so Watts, being very tactical, very cunning, very elusive, has turned Mantle into a winter wonderland, which I assume at this point is going to mean that the people of Mantle are going to be panicking more than ever, are going to be fighting for their survival more than ever, and are going to be clawing their way up to Atlas to get those answers or to get justice for what is happening to them because they're getting shafted left right and center and it's a matter of time before things blow over and just ultimately break for mantle and for watts to start declaring the dub for salem so um this chapter is very interesting it's 18 minutes it's a very long one uh the oscars in the thumbnail the title of the episode is very interesting based on kind of like the reflection of of mantle the starry-eyed pure perfect version of reality versus the bleak and dark and 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 depressing 
realities of mantle uh i don't know what's going to happen if if oscar is going to tell the truth if oscar is going to to bleep out any type of information to ironwood or to jacques or to even robin with her with her truth with her lie detector semblance to try to figure out what's going on or to try to get information because oscar is literally the key to ozma to ozpin and to like the inner truths that ruby isn't telling and if someone else finds out the truth and tells ironwood before ruby does i think that's going to make things bad for everyone um, but with all of that said, I'm going to be jumping into this also really quick, uh, just some food for thought for you guys. I know that there's been a lot of discussion and talk about this topic, uh, since the volume has started. I also have talked about it here and there in my live stream discussion, but in regards to the Aesops, right, we have four kingdoms, four academies, four seasons, four maidens, four relics, four team members, traditionally four happy huntresses, yet we have five Aesops. And if you even think about it, Aesops, even in a deck of 52 cards, there are only four aces, not five. So this leads me to believe that the, 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 the major theory that there is a potential traitor among the Aesops is possible. Uh, my vote is most likely Clover based on what he said about Ruby back in chapter five. Your niece sure is one of a kind, huh? Or it's in fact, that one of the Aesops will die by the end of the Atlas arc, maybe defending or protecting Mantle uh, or even Atlas. So very well, if Clover isn't a spy or isn't a traitor, I can very well it, see it being him, especially since him and Crow have gotten a lot of development since the volume has started. But with all that said, with all that rambling out of the way, I do appreciate you guys returning for another video. As always, thank you guys for the support that you guys showed back in 2019 continuously, you know, through the Ruby videos, the reactions, the reviews, the discussions, everything else in between. Uh, as always, leave your thoughts in the comment section. And without further ado, let us return. All right, guys, we're going to be jumping into Ruby volume seven with chapter nine titled as above, so below. Will you tell the truth or will someone tell it for you? The answer can make all the difference in the world. Moral of volume seven, boys and girls, tell the truth. If you lied, if you did something unjust, tell the truth. It'll hurt at first, but it'll, it'll, it'll have way more of an impact than if you just lie and hide that lie and defend that lie and lie on top of your lies. I mean, it's, 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 it's a moral lesson to begin with, you know, don't tell little white lies, 18 minutes, 18 seconds as always. Also, uh, really quick. So I didn't, I know that there is a, uh, a sneak peek that went out earlier this week. It's right here. Uh, I have not seen this at all. I have no idea what this delivers on. I will be watching it after the reaction. Um, just because I, you know, I'm, I'm a part of the Fruby movement. I'm part of the Fruby faithful. I loved Forrest. I love Eric. And I want to know like how he's going to recap and tell. Uh, I know that this teases this chapter, but I haven't seen it. So I will just be seeing this for, for Eric's uh, take on everything um after this reaction is done but uh like i said i'm gonna go into this chapter completely blind thank you guys as well for the support as always leave your thoughts in the comments and without further ado we're gonna be starting this in three two one now all right here we go oh i'm so nervous i have no idea what to expect it's good this is it the last five weeks of, of volume seven all right here we go Keep dreaming about a better world. You keep wishing for some clarity. Always hoping that a lightning bolt is gonna save you from this gravity. You're holding out for some romantic life. Maybe you wake up in a world of charm. Oh, but what take to set you free? You don't have to dream. Your life's a masterpiece if you just believe. And all you see is all you need. Right now your hopes are shattered, just pointless ever after. But in time you'll find through love your power just shines. I love you, buddy! When you don't know where to turn to, and you're sure all hope is gone. When the day you waited for won't come, and dark won't yield to dawn. Trust love, and open up your eyes. Trust love, the truth is there, but sometimes in disguise. The ways are certain, but we're together, moving towards the light. When we trust in love, and open up our eyes. Let's go. Woo! Little Rusty 
beyond that. It's been over a week. Fuck! What is gonna happen to Mantle Man? It is... <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. What's going on? Except everyone's gonna is freeze and too? die. They wouldn't just oh, I forgot the, the, heat off. the captions. Would they? Wait, no captions? Hello? Rooster Teeth? General, since the day Hello? You were I have. I, I literally have closed captions on, and there are no closed captions. Uh, Nani the fuck? Hold on, give me give me one second. I need to refresh this and double check. Is this like for real? Is this legit? Are there no subtitles? Headmaster, there There's really no subtitles. Hello. Skeptical. Okay, give me a second. They wouldn't just turn All right. the heat off. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna back up a little bit. This is okay. Boom. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna pick up right here. Apparently, there are no subtitles, even if you put closed captions. So. I gotta be super aware and not pop off as much so I can hear what's happening. Yeah, it's it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, guys. What's going on? Is the heat off in Atlas 2? Yeah. They wouldn't nope. just turn the heat off. Nope. Really? Fuck, man. See, now they're questioning, is Atlas really gonna freeze us General, over? Meanwhile- Since the day you were appointed headmaster, there have been Atlesians who are skeptical of one man holding two council seats. Yeah. Yes. Which is exactly oh what we Oh my god. We are supposed to, but lately you've been running roughshod all over them, making unilateral decisions without us. Councilman, That's since I never intended. What people intend and what they do aren't always the same, General. Hmm? Oh shit. Weiss. <laughs> My authorization? Check it again. What? Is Watts doing something Council against? Sneed. Is Watts um, yeah, acting yes, I, outside uh, of Jacques' order? Everything, everything that was uh, just said. Uh, no, uh, no further. Oh, fuck. I'm not quite done yet. You're afraid of something. Jacques General. pulling. Uh, Aren't Watts you? is pulling rank. I think that's pretty obvious, Miss Hill. I'm trying to prevent Atlas from becoming another beacon. Yeah. Another haven. Yeah. Yet you don't trust your own council to help you? It's hard! Operating in secret? These are the actions of somebody who's hiding something. I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> Let's put it to the test. Oh, fuck! Resemblance! No! You're all aware of my semblance. Let's settle it here and now. Oh, I General am... Iron Oh Man. my god! He doesn't know! Holy shit! He doesn't know! Oh here my god! And now. He doesn't know about Salem! He doesn't know about... Wait! Dude! You've got the wrong man on trial. That I would... know who's been framing Ironwood. Who raised yes. the election. Fuck you! Your father does Dad! <laughs> He's been working with him. Arthur Watts! Go that... fuck yourself! Uh, Watts? That's impossible! What? Dr. Watts died in the Paladin incident years ago. Paladin incident? What is this? He made the Paladins? Get fucked! Get Play fucked! It. Get fucked, dude! That bastard is costing me more money every day with this <gasps> Look at that sweat dripping, dude! You fucked up, dude. To get their damn votes for this council seat. What have I said? <gasps> what? Why is you did it? Eat it too. What are you gonna say what now? What do you what do you James got now? Iron would never recognize my genius. After everything I gave Oh you my god! I simply wish to return the favor. <gasps> What's in it for me? Oh a seat on the council. <gasps> oh. All I need is your log and credentials. Oh to the my network. god! You promised to make Ironwood's life a waking nightmare. <gasps> and I will guarantee you. <laughs> oh my, my god, Ironwood! Digital push, if you will. This is why. Scientist, this I? is why. But I never knew you were such a good salesman. Weiss, you no. are you are fucking best girl. You are fucking best that, girl. That, Period. I, I can explain Nothing. that. No, you're you're fucking done. That you are done, bro. Isn't real, Jock. Oh, take <laughs> your seat. You fucking yeah. sniveling little bitch. No. Thank you! <laughs> Weiss. Just Best need. summon. You're under arrest. Yeah! <laughs> Can I do that? <laughs> oh my god! They turned it around! Holy shit! Arthur. I killed the heat on 
They're all on the same side now. They, they they're trying to stay alive. Here is getting out of control. Please advise. Holy fuck, dude. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Tyrion's here now. I knew you'd stoop low to get what you wanted, Shock. But He'll do this, anything this to win. A great leap. Tyrion's. He'll do anything no. to win. It's quite simple, really. Yo, now that look I know at my Arthur boy Watts over there, alive, Nicholas Schnee. Working with a madman like Tyrion Kalos, it would be easy for someone like him exactly. to coordinate an unthinkably heinous exactly, act like the one bro. in the Watts designed Mantle's entire security network. That's why he's hacking Mantle. To hack the surveillance system <laughs> and frame someone else for the job. Yes. Oh my God. Yo, yo, if if Ruby had told All Ironwood. All stealing an election. If Ruby had and told Iron Woman, became a councilman, your newly granted clearance gave him a backdoor into Atlas to secure network. Yep, but I would probably fuck him up right now, that. dude. Patchy. I would ble the beat him to a bloody died pole. That night, their blood is on your, your hands. hands. Jacques Schnee must be tried, <laughs> not only for treason, but as an accessory treason, to murder. Treason, dude. He's gonna These die. That's, that's accusations. Like, like that's death sentence. I only sentence. intended to win the election. I had nothing to do. With only. Wow only why are you doing it at all what else will he be able to do with the access jock's given him <laughs> everything with time everything whatever he wants exactly <laughs> ja oh you answer your fucking phone buddy oh wait emergency wait, wait what mantle what do you mean the heat has gone off mantle you have to believe me i, I didn't know he was planning this you <laughs> You are going to shut your mouth yes. and get the heating grid up and running again. I, I've been informed. I that can't believe we you can't get into the system. He has the fucking He's axe. Been blocked off. He's got the master control. Without heat down there, people are gonna die. They're gonna freeze to people death. People are going to die. Holy fuck, dude! General Ironwood, how bad is it? Don't. This isn't the right he's time, using Ruby. Jacques' credentials. We can follow that activity on the network if he's found his way into the Amity system. <gasps> oh no. fuck! The secret is safe. Okay. For now. Oh fuck! But oh my God! I'm stressing Amity, out. She learns about Amity. She. Can you block his access? It's too late. You're he's at, already you, starting to lock us. She's now. probably like, who's she? Out? Find out where he's hiding. Sail. He's going to be mobile. We need his access point. We need to get him out in the open. Okay, so let me get this straight. Yep. Yep. Still here, everyone. <laughs> How do a disgraced scientist and disappeared serial killer wow. find each other, General? Salem. Why would they target you? Salem. And why are you working so hard to hide the Amity Communications Tower from them? Are, is he gonna tell? Is he gonna tell them? No. Is he? Oh my God! Blake and Yang! Oh no! Yo, honestly, right now, they all just need to come together. They all honestly need to just come together. Like, put aside your differences and just, like, figure out how to fix this. Jesus, dude! Oh, oh, Grim! Fuck! Oh, this is worse than before! What the fuck?! Oh! Atlas, Mantatine, Delta, begin. The Megalion! <laughs> Dude, those are like upgraded Goliaths from Volume 2! They're like woolly mammoths! You didn't fix the fucking wall! Oh, they're fucked. Oh my god, bro. <gasps> and nevermore! Wait, that I wasn't- think What the fuck was that? Something to protect yourself. But I can tell there's something much bigger going on here. That didn't look like a nevermore. Now I think it's to protect something else. Us. Humanity, Atlas, dude! Maybe even all of Remnant. And you're afraid of what might happen if you tell the truth. <sighs> Holy shit, dude. General. <laughs> we we have the boy! Mantle. The air fleet's Oscar's doing everything they can, now. but they can't easily target And he's got the, the fucking relic! Casualties. This. This is what I was afraid would happen. Yeah. Ruby, sir, this is we not need ground support now. This what is what we need is to start evacuating Mantle. 
If it's completely overrun, it's not going to be safe anywhere. Use the fleet. If to I get... move the fleet, then Atlas is vulnerable. <laughs> Shit. I... Team Ruby. Team Ruby and company. Just send them in the ASOPs. I tried to keep the kingdom safe. And now we're losing everything. <laughs> General? Oh my god. Oscar. Earlier, you asked for my advice. Trust the people. I wanted Ozpin's advice. And his advice probably would have been to keep your secrets. Hmm. When we first got here, you already knew that wasn't the right course. Come on, Oscar, you got you this. Plan. It's time to give up on that plan. No. It's all falling apart. The panic you were worried about, it's already happening. The secrets you're keeping, they're about to be in the open anyway. Just come it's clean. Time. Tell the truth. Let's do Tell this. The truth. Let's do this. Yeah, Ruby! Alone. We can do this together. I hope so. I want to be optimistic, but Thank there's you. a big gap in the truth. Oscar, I think it's time you get back to the academy. I think you're right. <laughs> Miss Hill? All right. Councilman Sleet? Councilwoman Camilla? There are some <laughs> things you need to know I about. I can't believe... Okay, good. Let's figure out He's going to tell them in secret. Good, good, good. Well, I mean, everyone yeah. else here already knows. I've called a transport. What about Watson Tyrion? Yeah. Give them to me. Ooh. Right now, you are needed down below. All right, everybody. As above, down it's time below. Time to do our jobs. Let's All go. <laughs> Come on, Penny. What she said. Let's you're, make it happen, you're, Huntsman. You're no longer framed. Oh, I love the instrumental. Trust it. Trust. <gasps> Was that Neo? Was that Neo? With the green eyes. Oscar. I, I, oh, oh, you first. Sorry. I didn't mean oh, didn't um, actually. I just wanted to Oh talk my god. Movie. Really? Right now? You should tell Ironwood. Ironwood. Yes! Oh, uh, well, uh, I guess we're on the same page, huh? <laughs> uh, Dude, Neo's already here! He's finally Where's choosing Cinder? the truth over fear. We should do the same. I'll tell him. I'm the one who chose to keep it from him in the first place. Oh my Ruby. god. Ruby! Transport's leaving! Relax, Marrow! We need it elsewhere. You're sure? Yeah, I've got it. Wait, is he gonna tell? Good, Good luck, luck down in there. there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Kids. <laughs> They're literally on the same wavelength. Is he really gonna tell him the truth? All right, everyone. I need to stress to our new huntsman and huntresses. Holy fuck! We are prioritizing Ren, are you good? Over are you good, Ren? Are we on the same page? <laughs> Ren. Come on. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. They're kind of on opposite ends right now. Feel like everybody is. I mean, they're all coming to terms. Like, you gotta act now. What the fuck is that thing? thing? Ironwood wouldn't lie about something like this. It's like a dragon. Do you really think he could stop her? They know about Salem. I don't know if he knows the she full truth. Can't be killed. Oh. Jin told you this. She showed us when we asked what Oz was hiding. Fuck. Why? Fuck. Why, Why did would you... Oz keep this from us? From the people who trusted him. He was worried you would lose hope. <gasps> oh no. We're sorry we kept it from you too. We didn't know who to trust. I figured you should know before you make any... Yeah. Sacrifices. Like this? Sir? What are you gonna do? Ironwood, what are you gonna do, I... dude? Wait, All we can do for the four minutes is what we can to save Mantle. That's what's in front this of This is such a stressful fucking episode, guys. He'd be proud of it. <laughs> I'm like holding my breath half the time. This was meant to inspire. A city in the sky is held to a higher standard. As above. You say that <laughs> like you were there. Oh my god, he's literally becoming. Our transports are here. He's literally becoming Oz! <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Oscar. No more surprises, all right. <laughs> I'm not sure I can take it. Please. Please, no more. What the fuck? Holy shit! Two more grim! <laughs> That's like a pterodactyl! Is it? Oh god, Bart boy, relax! That's such a sick ass design! 
Oh, there's two! I don't think we're staying airborne. It's time to go. You have your team assigned. Yo, stra landing strategies. Let's go. Landing strategies. Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good luck coming in clutch. Don't stay too long. Yeah. Oh my god. Geronimo! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, careful. Try to keep up, kid. <laughs> Wait, the ship's just gonna crash into the ground somewhere? Holy shit, dude! This is it! Everyone's popping off! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Holy fuck, Whitley! Your father's done, dude. Oh no! This is what I was afraid of! I was like, what's gonna happen to them? I'll be reporting this rough treatment. Shut the fuck up! Get the fuck in the transport, you punk! What a scumbag. He has a- he has the fucking odd- a lot of odd- like, a lot of nerve, dude. Neo! Right there, dude! Neo's here already! Oh my god- No! Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh! I thought she was going for the maiden! Huh. You're back early. Fuck! They're here! Tell me you oh. found what we've been looking for. The maiden! They found her. Oh my fuck. I literally think, I literally think Neo's gonna become the Winter Maiden to go up against, to go up against Cinder for revenge for what happened to Roman. What a fantastic chat. Dude, I'm sweating up a storm right now. What the fuck is this thing? Does that have a name? Please show the name. Please show the name. I will be so... Come on, come on, does it have a name? Of course it doesn't. Dude! Megaliaths! Fucking pterodactyls! They actually told the truth! Wow, man. The truth has been ex- Yo, these Grim are so sick! They're like the Goliaths from Volume 2, but like, evolved. Like, obviously, Atlas's version, so Megaliaths. <laughs> where Ruby mentioned that she wants to ride on a Megalith. Holy fuck that chapter, dude. Holy shit, bro. I did not think... I did not think people were going to be getting exposed left, right, and center like that. Watts is found out. Tyrion is found out. Jacques is found out and arrested. Fucking everyone told the truth. Councilman Sleet and Camilla know what's really happening. Ironwood has like the real definitive truth about like the past and Salem and Ozma and like she can't be killed and Jin's, you know, Jin, like what Jin showed them. Holy shit, bro. And everyone's on the same page. <laughs> I was super worried at the beginning because I was like, wait, she's going to ask. She's like, she's going to ask Ironwood like the truth. But he doesn't know the definitive truth. He didn't know that Salem couldn't be destroyed. So even if he told, they, like, they knew about Salem and everything, that wasn't the worst of it. Like, what he knew was nothing different than what he eventually ended up telling them. But it's just the fact of, like, had she known the definitive truth, then things would have been a little, a little crazier. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit, this chapter was great. And we have like we like it's like so Watts created the paladins, which would make sense because like each one of them he mentioned, uh Pietro mentioned like that each member had a like a different form or a different way of bringing an idea that would work towards defending humanity, like a defense force. And the the, the paladins most like like just seem to be the most aggressive, the most like uh like the like the powerhouse of Atlas's um military might. And like we got those in volume two, you know, we got the prototypes of those during volume two. And so I, it's very interesting. Like, I wonder when his death was staged to happen because the prototypes for the paladins was during volume two. 
but the Black Queen virus then happened in volume three, and then we got Watts in volume four. So I wonder if it happened at some point during the Beacon arc that like the whole prototype thing was happening, Watts died, staged his death, they went ahead with the Paladin plan, and then he just decided to go off against Salem because whatever ended up happening, that made him a disgraced scientist. Holy fuck, dude. This was such a great chapter, man. This was such a good chapter. We got so much payoff of, off of like everything that we've been waiting for and, and, and holding on to. As of right now, the biggest concern, like this fucking guy like sweating, like Monka S just like sweating because he knows he's fucked and like, get out of here. The, like I said, the only thing I was really worried about, um, and I mentioned this during my last couple of discussions is like the one thing that I care about for, for Jacques being discovered and being tried or being arrested is like, what's that going to do to the livelihood of the Schnee Dust Company? Who's gonna run, you know what I mean? Cause the whole point, the whole purpose of him hi being hired and you know, taking over the company was that he married into the family so he could be the business front, you know? Because apparently, I guess the mother wasn't suited for it or they just needed someone with a better business mind and he came into the picture. Um, but like with him gone, who's gonna run the company? Who's gonna support the family? That really just means the mother has to, like, she has to just change her ways. She has to step up and be the parent that she's supposed to be, especially for someone like Whitley with how he was affected with his dad. You know what I mean? Like, regardless of how you feel about Whitley, he's a victim just like everyone else. And out of everything, he obeys his father and his father's like the only suitable parental figure in his life. You know, his older sisters don't care much for him up until now. Uh, the mother's in a dr is drunk and really kind of wayward to where she can't really function properly. And the father, just kind of gets stuff done and, and is able to kind of keep the family afloat. So yeah, the fact it's very satisfying because like clearly this guy's a scumbag piece of shit and I really don't give a fuck what happens to him. But I, it's just like by proxy. Also, the fact that Weiss herself arrested him was also pretty funny. <laughs> Holy shit. So right now, this is the initial fallout that's 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 really on my mind that's really setting me off and getting me really um anxious and and un, like with a lot of unrest because you got Tyrion and Watts amongst the you know amongst the 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 change of weather that's affecting everyone in Mantle everyone's pissed off pretty much jumping the gun obviously and it's all working in their plans but my god man so at this point Tyrion and Watts, I think, are going to face off against some of these people, you know, Team Ruby, Team Juniper, the Aesops down in Mantle, and it's going to be a battle, it's going to be a fucking battle of Grimm, of civilians, of huntsmen, huntresses, Faunus, Watts, whatever technology he's brought on board, or whatever technology he has up his sleeve, if he has a semblance, if he's even a fighter, um, there's a fuck ton of to, to look forward to i'm i'm just ex i'm just happy that the payoff and just the reveal of the truth didn't cripple ironwood as much as i thought it would i honestly thought it was going to do a lot more damage but the fact that like they just doubled down they were just like you know what i mean it was like uh, it was like the one two punch it's like hey we got jacques everyone seems to be on the up on the same side now because we don't have this scumbag pretty much d like dividing us along with watts and salem and all that stuff so let's just come together let's reveal the truth and let's let's work towards let's work towards making everything right but the big problem here is the the sabers the megaliots these fucking giant pterodactyl grim and and everything else that's that's building up from here but Oscar came through. I Oscar is sounding more and more like Oz. I don't know if I like that because, and he even mentions like you say that almost as if you were there, and it's like because the minds of both of these characters are slowly melding, right? And I feel like eventually Ozpin will come back, but it'll be again similar. It'll just be a joint union of their minds of their souls. Neo's fucking here. Cinder's here too. God knows how long both of them have been here. And I mean, it makes sense for Cinder, I mean, uh, for, for Neo more than anything, because her, sale, her, her her overactive imagination semblance is just like the best disguise. So they're here, they're working towards potentially getting the maiden powers. I thought that's where Neo was going at first. I was like, wait a minute, is that the room where the where like Freya is? Because I really do feel like, and Ruby Chibi is kind of like low key spoilers, but like I really feel like Neo is following and tagging along with Cinder because she realizes, holy fuck, Cinder's a maiden. I can't 
I can't have any shot in the world of defeating her and getting revenge for Roman. But if the possibility of me becoming a maiden comes along, maybe that'll be the case. Now, if that does happen, I will be upset if Cinder loses another fight or... And if she wins, it feels very short-sighted for Neo just because, you know, if Neo becomes a maiden and gets revenge, then Cinder dies and some the maiden power, you know, the fall maiden power goes to someone else. And Cinder's lost practically every single battle that she's been in. So if she loses to the spring maiden and the winter maiden, I'm going to be really upset because Cinder is a pretty one-dimensional, probably my most disliked character in the show. Um, but damn, this was so satisfying. Everyone's on the same page. We got these new fucking dude so we got the megaliath we got so many new grim this volume we got the megaliath we have the sabers we have these pterodactyls we have the sabers i'm sorry the the sentinels we have so many new grim this volume that's such a sick design bro such a sick design again whitley he's just got the mother's just got to rekindle her relationship with her kids at this point like to be honest Neo's just doing her own thing, just going about her business. <laughs> what I'm wondering is if that is a real butler, did she just become this butler or did she like take the identity of someone and kill that person off and assume that person's position while she's here? That's that's another thing that I'm curious of. God damn. That's such a great shot right there. Cinder's here. Neo. Yeah, look at that. Cinder doesn't give up. Neo doesn't give a fuck about Cinder. She's like rolling her eyes like, oh God, this bitch again. But yeah, it's it's all a matter of time. And yep, look at that. She's got her grim arm. Everyone's here. The whole squad. The whole squad is on board. So that is the reaction, boys and girls. Uh, I am going to switch gears now. And I'm going to check out this Fruby teases chapter 9. Because I love... I'm a part of the Fruby faithful, I will admit. Uh, I am part of the Fruby faithful. I love Eric Bador. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's no surprise to anyone. But I was a big fan of seeing and hearing and getting more of Forest throughout the volume. And I haven't seen this... Uh, I didn't see this last week when it came out. So... All right. Eric, I'm so sorry. They did you dirty, my boy. All right, just want to make sure you guys can hear this. Hello, my name is Eric Bedour. Vo <clears throat> Hello, <laughs> my name is Eric Bedour, acclaimed voice actor of fan favorite <laughs> Ruby character Forrest. Acclaimed he voice was taken actor. From us all too soon. <laughs> and I've previously vowed never to use my voice for Forrest again. For Forrest? You said any Ruby character. Due to a contractual obligation, uh... my agent has failed to inform me on. I'm here to talk to you about this season of Ruby and what you can expect in the coming Are you going to voice another character? I will be reading from a prepared statement. <laughs> I love him, dude. Come Our on. heroes are now working with pro huntsmen. Fuck yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> They're getting to see all the new kingdoms of Atlas. Oh, boy. Miles said kingdom. Um, Atlas is only Old one kingdom. Old friends return. Like Penny, yeah, Iron yeah, yeah, yeah. Winter, Not Forest, and Not also forest. some fresh new faces. <laughs> this is great. The Aesops. Forest is not part of the Aesops. Feels bad, man. <laughs> is it Weiss or Vice? Okay, you're one of those Weiss people. Weiss confronts her family. Much in the way I'll be confronting my agent when we are done recording this. <laughs> <clears throat> this is new great. New outfits, new hair, new semblances. Yo, confirmed. And, oh, and our villains are up to no good. <sighs> Tyrion is now taken to the streets, killing innocent people. Yeah, Wait, they fucked us over, Eric. The Fruby faithful deserved better. Me. You really gonna make me fucking read this? You really like? You told me that? Yeah, uh, yeah. I fucking know you didn't read the. I'm listening. <laughs> it's not again. No, it's not. So be sure to watch God Ruby Season it. Seven, available at RoosterTeeth.com in the Rooster Teeth phone application. <laughs> Just Free, kidding. No subscription required. I'm the burp. Okay, Eric. This is this is fantastic. This is fucking gold. No, no, that's fine. Nah, I don't think. That's, that's a wrap good. on, Eric. That's oh, good. oh, Jesus. And here you go. Oh my God, the audio. For a new exciting clip. It's coming in for Ruby. Ruby, whatever. Yo. Oh, okay, so that so oh all right so this it was at this point. Oh, like when the Grim were coming in? All right, that makes... that People were probably fucking scared out of their mind then if they saw this clip. For your own safety. Yeah, why don't you take some of that advice for yourself? <laughs> Jesus. Yep. 
God damn. Yo, Marie and Pietro look like they're about to like die together. Fuck, man. Atlas Manta Team Delta, beginning first run. Wow. Damn, this is a long ass first clip. Oh, okay. Jesus. Fuck, bro. I'd be fucking shitting bricks if I saw that last week. Of course, if I had seen it, then I'd know what to expect for this episode. So I'm actually really happy I didn't. But goddamn. This is a great chapter. Very satisfying overall. Things are ramping up. I have no idea. Like, what the f Like, we have four chapters left. What has to have more up his sleeve, even if his identity is blown? He's got the master back door of Atlas at this point. Even if people like people know like know of him and stuff like that, but he has like level of clearance that of Jacques, who's now a councilman. So he can really kind of do anything. Like like Iron would said, in a matter of hours, he can literally do and accomplish anything he wants with the security network. You know, find the maiden, get the relic, take it out of its vault. Atlas comes crashing down onto Mantle and killing way more people than we probably could have pictured. Goddamn. Overall, fantastic chapter. Big fan of it. I loved every moment. Um, I, I'm really excited for this live stream discussion. Uh, I'm excited for these next four chapters to see how things are going to pan out. Everyone's together. They're heading down to Mantle to kind of to help out the civilians, everyone's on the same page, the council people, Ironwood has control back for the most part, and, and hopefully we can kind of turn this thing around before before the villains get this dub, you know? We're not done fighting yet, so. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, my afterthoughts, and everything else in between. Uh, as always, leave your thoughts in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.